what's one health trend you would love to see die in 2025? Oh, man. Or a myth, a myth that you'd love to see die. You know, um, I'm not a fan of methylene blue. I want people to understand this is not a healthy Ooh. thing for humans. Yeah. Say more. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So methylene blue is is affecting your mitochondrial electron transport chain. Um, and in someone that has a broken mitochondrial electron transport chain, it can take electrons from NADH or FADH2 and move them along the chain. But if you have a healthy mitochondrial electron transport chain, it's de decreasing the amount of ATP you're producing. That's been mm. reproducibly shown. So a healthy human is not benefiting from methylene blue, get rid of it, it's, it's bullshit. Um, if you have a broken mitochondrial electron transport chain, maybe you benefit in the short term. There's been studies on Alzheimer's and it did not improve outcomes. It actually increased the amount of falls that people had with methylene blue. Mm. Um, people with Alzheimer's almost certainly have broken mitochondrial electron transport chains. But the question is, how did your mitochondrial electron transport chain get broken? With methylene blue, you need to understand that it's an MAOI inhibitor. So it's a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, so MAO inhibitor, uh, which is going to have some sort of, let's say, psychological effects, which make it very hard to tell if what you're feeling on methylene blue is related to increased energy metabolism or just different neurotransmitters in your brain, which mm. is why you can't use it with anything that's serotonergic. Um, it yeah. could cause all sorts of side effects. So methylene blue, not for healthy humans, only to be used in very specific context. It's a Band-Aid. It doesn't fix anything. It doesn't make you healthier, guys. Stop it. Like, just stop. That's so fascinating you say that because anything that gets enough tailwind behind it uh, and which it has done methylene blue has had its moment for sure recently it got me curious so i bought some and i started taking it for maybe a month and i noticed absolutely nothing and maybe i'm feeling better about that because maybe i'm a healthy mitochondrial person and because i felt nothing i didn't see any need to continue it so i kind of discontinued and i'm glad that i did now keep those mitochondria healthy become healthy foundationally at a Foundation. mitochondrial level with a, an evolutionarily appropriate intake of fats and other things in your diet, like yeah. get the nutrients. But, you know, we didn't even talk about this, but people will understand that there are so many nutrients required to make a mitochondrial electron transport chain, CoQ10 being one of them, right? Yeah. Where's it found? Animal meat, organs, heart, liver, like to make a healthy mitochondrial electron transport chain, eat meat and eat organs and stop eating excess linoleic acid and watch how you become Superman or Superwoman. I like I can't wait to hear your stories, guys. Incredible. Simple, not always easy, but you know what's easy? Being the healthiest version of yourself. All right, friends, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Radical Health Radio. We got a fresh new podcast for you every Wednesday. If you enjoyed the show, consider liking, subscribing, reviewing, and rating us on your podcast platform. It helps to spread this message of radical health. We'll see you next week.